Hello and welcome to another trip report and good morning from uh, Denpasar, Bali in Indonesia. Today I'm checking out Melindo Airlines, it's leg 7 of 25 of my round the world tour. I'm looking forward to this one, it's an airline I'd never heard of before I booked it. Let's go. My car dropped me at the airport quite early, which gave me a chance to appreciate the unique architecture here at Denpasar. The airport combines traditional Balinese building with modern airport design, and the result is like nothing I've ever seen before. My flight wasn't until 11.35, but luckily check-in opened quite early, three hours before departure. A separate business class line means I'm soon checked in and ready to go, so it's off to departures for me. The shopping section here in Bali is quite something. There are some really high-end shops here, well outside my budget. Melindo uses the TG lounge here for business class, which is up on a mezzanine floor away from the noise of the terminal. This is just a third party lounge, but I was quite impressed. The decor is light and informal, and there was a good selection of hot food on offer. If you're ever in the Far East, I can recommend sweet corn soup, which is tasty and not too bad for you. There was even an egg station. There was also some appetizing looking cold food too, and a decent selection of drinks. I was able to have a bite to eat in peace and quiet, accompanied by a very quiet seatmate. The lounge wasn't too busy and although there was a bar area it wasn't manned, possibly because I visited this lounge in the morning. The TG lounge was a perfectly good place to wait for my flight and I headed off to departures with a good impression of it. Denpasar Airport International Terminal is arranged around one long corridor, so all the gates are easy to find. There's Scoot pushing back, they'll be featuring in a video very soon on this world tour and you'll want to subscribe to find out how my trip went. Let's just say it was an interesting experience. Melindo's name comes from the countries Malaysia and Indonesia and represents international cooperation. They're part of the same group of companies as Lion Air, who you can see touching down here. Here's our aircraft, a 737-800, just three and a half years old. Garuda Indonesia operates some A330 aircraft into Bali and I'll be sure to check them out next year. It's time to board. Now's a good time to tell you about my other social media. You'll want to join thousands of others on Instagram and Twitter to find out the latest about what I'm doing and my exciting plans for the future. Thank you. Melindo is a premium airline and has a 2 plus 2 configuration in business class. Hello. You might recognise these seats as being the same from another trip already covered on this world tour. A blanket and pillow are waiting at my seat and there's no problem in fitting my maximum size cabin bag into the overhead bins. Legroom's really good, though you'll want to watch the little obstruction here if you're tall and want to stretch out. There's also a pre-departure drink, such a basic little thing that gets you introduced to the crew and the airline's hospitality. Note to European airlines, try doing this. It's easy and cheap.
I'm sad to be leaving Bali, which was every bit as lovely as I'd hoped it would be, but let's take a look at our route into Kuala Lumpur. It's 1,217 miles and will take us 2 hours and 40 minutes today, flying at 36,000 feet. The business class cabin isn't full today and there's nobody except me in the last row. The seat controls are all manual but work perfectly fine and there's also a manual footrest which folds out from the seat. The TV is stowed in the armrest and is easy to deploy. There's a USB jack in the TV and also a power point under the seat. Lunch is served shortly after takeoff by the crew who were friendly and warm and I was really surprised. This was a pretty cheap flight and I wasn't expecting lunch to look as appetizing as this. The tablecloth is from Batik Air for some reason, they're also a Lion Air Group airline. My biryani is really fragrant, it looks great and tasted delicious. The rice was just right and not too dry. It comes with a delicate noodle salad and the dessert is a vanilla slice. I was really impressed with the quality of the food. I'll get on to what this trip cost me at the end of the video. There's also a nice thick hot towel handed out at the end of the meal. I get a lot of comments asking what they're for. They're just there to clean your hands and your face. The entertainment system is responsive and features a selection of English language content. You'll definitely find something you like on a short flight like this. Melindo's in-flight magazine is kind of cute, featuring some sort of wedding theme, and most articles are translated into English. This looks pretty sweet, a restaurant in a retired 737 aircraft. I wish I had the time in Kuala Lumpur to check that out. There's also a route map of course, where I find out Melindo fly as far afield as Australia. Seat recline is good and I'm able to sleep for an hour until the seat belt signs come on and we're descending into Kuala Lumpur. So, as you can tell, I really enjoyed my experience with Melindo. They aren't part of an airline alliance, so forget earning or spending miles with them if you use any mainstream miles program. However, Melindo delivered everything promised with no problems and even a little bit of flair. I paid £105 for this one-way flight, that's about $135. US You can still get very cheap fares. I checked and they've gone up a little. The flight's now 2.4 million rupiah, which is £129 or $168. US I still think at that price you're getting a great deal and I recommend checking Melindo out if you're in Southeast Asia. And here I am safely on the ground in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. My first time here, but I'm not leaving the airport. I'm connecting through on Thai Airways 777 in business class up to Bangkok tonight, uh, a short hop of about two hours on a wide body aircraft, which is always a novelty. That'll be the next video on this channel. Let me know what you thought of Melindo Airlines in the comments below, but until then, I'll see you next time.